Hey guys, in this tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Nohans proxies for use with GSA search engine ranker. Now I, I previously did a video um, relating to this with the older version of Nohans proxies so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the new way of setting GSA up within Nohans proxies and then I'm going to skip into the second half of the last video which shows you how to set up uh, GSA SER because ultimately the way to use the proxies in GSA hasn't changed but the way to set up Nohans proxies has. Now don't be concerned the way to set up Nohans proxies has gotten quite a bit simpler so what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that you already know what all these controls are and what has changed is the settings tab. Now it used to involve you going and setting up the output uh, jobs for GSA and also setting it up to check your proxies and things like that whereas now all you need to do is you go into the settings tab and click on the GSA search engine ranker button and then you'll be informed that it has the no hands proxies has been set up for use with GSA and not to go into the advanced settings and change any settings because it's really not necessary and any changes made could likely result in fewer usable proxies. Now it also tells you down here where the Google proxies have been sent to and also where the posting proxies have been sent to. Okay so now all you need to do is click the OK button, accept that and from then on No Hands Proxies is now set up for use with GSA. All you need to do whenever you load it up in future is to hit the start button and let it do its thing. From there on now, it's always going to be searching for proxies that are usable in GSA and outputting them to those files. Okay, so I'm going to skip on onto the uh, second part of the, the video from the, the first video, which will show you how to set up GSA using uh, these proxy files. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go into GSA's options here. Now in here I'm going to select use proxies and search engines. We want the search engines to just use what we're going to flag as public proxies. Um, you can choose to disable banned proxies in submission. We just want private proxies. PR checking, you can leave that as both public and private. Verification. I wouldn't actually use any proxies for verification. Now email checking, I'd only use that if you have quite a lot of projects and lots of different um, email addresses on sites such as Hotmail, Gmail, um, Yahoo Mail, things like that. Otherwise if you're using sites which have much more relaxed um, IP checking and account checking, I'd leave that unchecked. Um, stop projects on now active proxies, you can select that and recheck. Uh, restart proxies on active proxies. Okay, so in configure, this is where the fun bit starts. We're going to need to add and edit proxy sites. Now we need to click add. I'll first make sure that check none because some of those are checked by default. So then we're going to have to add a single site. Now it's not actually a website address that we're adding, it is a local file. Now, no hands proxies will stick the proxies by default into your my documents folder, which on this computer is users gym documents, and the posting proxies are sent to posting proxies. I do you believe? Let me just check that. Posting proxies. Yep. Dot txt. Now you can make a note of where the file is exactly when you're setting up Nohans proxies or you can leave the, the dialog box up so that you can type it out word for word. If GSA had a, a browse option this wouldn't be necessary but because it doesn't obviously it's assuming that you're going to be putting in a link as opposed to a file then uh, you have to type it in manually. It's a bit of a pain but once it's in it's done and you don't need to worry about it so then I'm going to click OK to add it now it's yeah now you get the browse option after after the fact but hey ho so that's your posting proxies so we're going to add them as a private proxy type okay so now we're going to add in another one this is for your Google proxies so I'm just going to 
copy in that because it's all the same apart from instead of posting it's Google proxies and I'm going to leave them as um, not I'm not going to check them as private proxy type okay and then we're going to need to go into options and in here we need to select automatically search for proxies every and change that to one minute because obviously the you want it to load in the proxies as often as possible and really one minute it is fine uh, you don't want to test the proxies um, you don't want to remove old proxies um, don't want to do any of those but you do want to automatically disable proxies when they're detected to be down because really um, even though the, the proxy list is going to be updated and checked by no hands proxies there's no problem in having uh, GSA remove a bad proxy if if it's already um, bad it's sort of like no hands SEO that when that does it um, it just automatically removes it and, and stops it from being used okay and then the rest of it should be fine um, yeah you don't need to worry about the thread settings or you shouldn't have to anyway all the time out that should be fine and uh, yeah so now you've done that all you need to do is so I'm going to OK that and OK that now that is all that's necessary from here on out you have no hands proxies doing its thing um, checking harvesting and so on it's actually running a lot slower at the minute because I'm uploading a bunch of different videos um, due to the changes to the way uh, you, the users set it up now um, so it is actually running quite a bit slower than it normally would but as you can see it's still got 270 proxies within uh, say 10 minutes or so um, so yeah that's all you need to do to get GSA set up and running so now it will be using the, the Google proxies for searching and it will also be using the, the um, anonymous and elite proxies for posting okay so yeah I hope that's been helpful um, it's been a relatively short video obviously setting up no hands proxies now is a hell of a lot simpler um, yeah if you've got any questions or feature requests by all means get in touch at support at nohandsseo.com or support at nohandsproxies.com alternatively you can just leave a, um, a question below or get on the support forum at nohandsseo.com forward slash forum um, so yeah I'm always happy to hear from you I hope this video has been useful and uh, I hope to hear from you soon Okay, cheers.